Hello, everyone. Bob Thibodeau here for another session of the Faith Based Business Podcast. We're so blessed that you're joining us today. Today, I want to talk to you about Christian networking, how iron sharpens iron in your life, in your ministry, in your business. Amen. Now, networking, <laughs> that's a vital aspect of growing any successful business, including the ministry business. Proverbs 27, verse 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And it provides a, a profound insight into how Christians should approach business relationships. I mean, you know, the proverb itself emphasizes the importance of mutually beneficial relationships. Not one person trying to do better than the other person, but helping each other along. I, in the business context, it encourages us to seek connections that are not only advantageous but to both people, but also edifying, allowing us to grow, to improve through our interactions with other believers. And effective networking strategies for Christian entrepreneurs, that's about more than just exchanging business cards in a meeting. It's about building genuine, relationships based on shared values, which is our Christian values, mutual respect for each other, and the desire just to help each other to grow and to improve and to do better. And you can build ethical business relationships through ethical networking. And business that means maintaining honesty. And we've been talking about this all week long. Honesty, integrity, it's a spirit of collaboration. It's about creating a community where entrepreneurs can support, advise, and uplift one another in line, again, with our Christian values. That's the main center. When you, know, you are the sum total of the, of the five people you most hang around with. If you're hanging around with a bunch of, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You need to elevate your game. If you want to have a ministry that is, you know, reaching more people for the gospel, you need to associate with ministries that are doing that. Not the ones that are hanging down, satisfied with where they're at, with 25 people coming to a service on a Sunday. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what they're called to do. But if your calling is to reach the millions, you can't do it in a church that has 25 people in it. I'll just put that out there. Now, you, with the online aspect of everything going on, it is possible to reach the world with the gospel from a church that has 25 people. But that's your got to be your calling. That's what I'm saying. You don't know unless you start networking with other pastors, other ministers. If you're in business and you're satisfied with being you know, the sole mom and pop operation in a town of 5,000, that's great. But if you want to reach the world with your products and your services, you got to network to elevate your game. Amen? And that's what it's all about. Proverbs 27, 17 is a reminder of the power of positive and constructive business relationships. By applying this wisdom, Christian entrepreneurs can build networks that are not only successful, but spiritually fulfilling. Amen? Praise God. Now, consider joining our newsletter and searchable database of podcasters looking for guests, guests looking for podcasters. You can type in search... Uh, criteria, you know, like if you're looking for someone, authors or whatever, and it'll pull them all up right there for you. Go to faithcaster.org, faithcaster.org. All the information is right there. Till next time, this is Pastor Bob reminding you, be blessed in all that you do.